Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome to the sixth tutorial on testing and optimization in MetaTrader 4. In the previous tutorial, we discussed the available models in this MT4 strategy tester, and those were the every tick, control points, and open prices models. And today we will be looking at the strategy tester report. Assuming that you have run a back test, the report can be found in the report tab down here. And what we will do is we'll right click on the report and we'll save as report. And this allows us to export the report as an HTML file. We will give it a name uh, which reflects which expert advisor was tested. So a moving average report, for example, and we'll save that. And as you can see, uh, MediTrader 4 has already brought it up as a file in our browser. I'm going to zoom out so that you can see a bit more of the report. Um, at the top here, we have some statistics around the test. Um, then we have the chart, and then we have a, a full list of all of the trades that were conducted. You can uh, reference this list if you need to find out something about a particular trade. Now, we won't be discussing this particular report because I have a much more interesting report prepared for you. I'll just bring that up now. And... I'll zoom out. And as you can see from this report right away from the chart, it is a profitable report. And uh, I, I think it'll be more interesting for us to discuss this profitable report rather than um, that um, unprofitable one from the moving average prepackaged expert advisor. So the system that was used in the back test for this report is called Simple System Version 2.0. And uh, this is a proprietary algorithmic trading system, which we will get to know very intimately in uh, the next section of our course. And you'll be able to download this uh, Forex robot, or you could you can copy the code if you like. And we'll be working very closely with this expert advisor. We'll be optimizing it, back testing it, forward testing it, and making sure that it uh, gives us results like this, which are uh, profitable and we can actually use on our accounts for. Um, trading. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, discuss this report. We won't be looking at uh, the actual trades that were conducted because uh, we're more interested in the statistics up here. I will zoom in so that uh, you can see uh, the text a bit clearer and we'll start from the top and we'll work our way down through to the bottom. So at the top we have the name of the uh, strategy, uh, the server where the test was conducted and the build of the trading platform. Next is the symbol, uh, the financial instrument, and the time frame on which the test was conducted. Here in brackets, the dates are uh, the dates that the trader chose for the back test. And then these dates are the actual dates when the test was in fact run. Uh, sometimes the dates can be a bit different to the one specified because there wasn't uh, sufficient data. For example, I asked the test to be run from the second, from the 23rd of February but the test was actually run from the 24th of February, and that is uh, possibly because um, there wasn't uh, enough data for the 23rd, maybe because that was a weekend or uh, something like that. Next, the model is uh, one of the three models that we discussed uh, in the previous tutorial. In this case, I chose the every tick model. Um, the parameters uh, is the parameters uh, list of parameters for the trading system. This line will be always unique to every uh, forex robot and in this case the simple system takes uh, five parameters which we will discuss in more detail uh, in the coming tutorials. Bars and tests. There was a total of 4,000 hourly bars in this uh, specified uh, six-month period. Uh, the number of ticks modeled was just over 4.2 million ticks and the modeling quality was 90% which is very good. Misma mismatched chart errors is zero which is also um, a good thing. Uh, if this number is just above zero, then that's not really a big deal. That just means that there were some irregularities in the data. Um, initial deposit is the starting balance of the test. The spread is the spread uh, at which the test was conducted. In this case, it says current three, meaning that I chose the current spread. Uh, however, I would uh, like to warn you that you should be careful with, when choosing the current uh, spread because sometimes brokers increase their spreads for the weekends and if you're running this your test on the weekend then you can find yourself in a situation when you're uh, running a test with a spread of seven uh, for a currency pair that on average during the week has a spread of four so you always have to 
consult uh, with the broker's website to understand what the average spread is. Um, but in my case, spread of three seemed reasonable for uh, the British pound dollar currency pair. Next, uh, the total net profit uh, is uh, how much money uh, you earned uh, or this system earned in, on the, during the back test, and it is equal to gross profit minus gross loss. So as you can see from the chart, the starting balance was around 10,000 and uh, the final balance uh, was around 20,000. Uh, uh, so in this case, the net profit is the difference between the ending balance and the starting balance. So this uh, earned uh, profit is the total net profit. Um, the profit factor is the next uh, parameter or the next variable here. So let's bring up a formula and see how the profit factor is calculated. And uh, the formula for profit factor is gross profit over gross loss. So in our case, it would be this gross profit of $25,000 divided by $15,000 gross loss gives us a profit factor of 1.71. Uh, generally, in your uh, trading systems, you should aim for a profit factor of above 1.5. And if your profit factor is below 1, then the trading system is making a loss. Uh, expected payoff. The formula for expected payoff is net profit divided by total number of trades. And this is pretty straightforward, as the expected payoff just tells you uh, what uh, is the average net profit per trade. So in our case, it's uh, $10,000 divided by 115 trades gives you approximately $93 of net profit uh, per trade. The absolute drawdown. The absolute drawdown is um, by how much your balance uh, curve went below the initial balance. So as you can see here, the lowest the balance cur curve has ever been is just $874 below the starting uh, $10,000 deposit. Maximum drawdown is the maximum of all of the drawdowns which are present on, in your balance curve. So a drawdown is considered um, between the maximum uh, in your balance curve and the consecutive minimum of your balance curve. So this, in this, uh, for example, is a drawdown. This is a drawdown. This is a drawdown. And this is a drawdown. And uh, in this case, it appears that this is a maximum drawdown and the total value of this drawdown was approximately $3,000, which represents 14% of the balance at uh, the top of that peak. Uh, a relative drawdown is the same thing, but backwards. Uh, total trades is self-explanatory. Short positions, that's uh, how many short positions we had and that's how many, uh, what percentage of them we won. Same thing for long positions, profit trades, um, that's we had a total of 68 profit trades and that was 59% uh, of the total number of trades we had similar for lost trades. Largest profit trade um, just tells you the value of the largest profit trade in dollars. Same thing for uh, largest loss trade. Average, same thing. Uh, maximum consecutive wins and then profit and money. So we had a maximum of seven profits in a row and uh, they brought us around $3,000 and maximum uh, we had consecutive losses was six and they and we lost $1,700. The next line is the same thing but backwards. Finally, the average consecutive wins is uh, the average profit in a row and consecutive losses the average number of losses we had in a row. So there you go. That's how you read a uh, strategy test report. We'll be working more closely with um, uh, reports like this when we're talking about which parameters we should focus on, how to uh, evaluate effectiveness of your trading strategies in the coming tutorials in this course. So that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to click subscribe if you are watching on YouTube and I hope you'll consider going to www.forexboat.com and subscribing to my new newsletter here as well. And until next time, happy trading.